Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you a new video. This video is gonna be unlike probably most videos I do. Oh, sorry, I bumped mine up the mic. Um, this is gonna be a little more serious video. I usually don't put out drama or um, news of what's going on in the world. I mostly stick to gameplay through games, but I've been in this, not only me, but people I know, things are going on. There's a lot of hacking, uh, IP address linking, all that kind of stuff going on. It's a lot of stuff going on. So let's talk about Discord right now. Discord is very popular in the uh, PC world, not just with gaming, but everything. Um, my friend um, had his account hacked. He, by accident, clicked on the link. We all knew not to click on links, but um, how he fell for it was he was he is a Discord he he is a Discord partner. Um, he just got off done talking about shirts and stuff, and uh, one of his mods on his channel wrote something to him about shirts and stuff, and he had a link in there. Figured, oh, maybe they're they're the sent him something or something like that. He clicked on it and bam, his account was taken. Um, and in his server, um, uh, after a day was destroyed. Um, he had his Twitter taken that way, kind of based off that same person did it. Um, they were saying not very appropriate stuff. And, um, how does discord handle this? Well, not only has, has him try to get a hold of discord, but me, uh, some of his other viewers, um, some of the his friends, we all try to get hold of Discord. Um, this started like last Tuesday. Yeah, like no, it was. It's been like eight days, nine days, even. I I lost track of numbers, but I wrote Discord several times. I try to get a hold on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. Um. He got his Twitter back in like a day or and a half, um, which was great. Discord, uh, Twitter did their great job. It took them a little longer, but Twitter's big. I don't understand why Twitter might take a little longer. But Discord has not gotten back to him. Hasn't even wrote him, gave him any updates. I got a few emails, but nothing like they're going to help him. They've seen it. They're glad I reported it to him, and they're going to look into it, but they cannot give me any info. Well, they haven't gotten a hold of, um, of him at all. I'm not going to like leak it out or anything because he already has enough stuff going on with him. But he... He... Just has... They, they haven't done anything. They haven't tried to help. His server's gone. The hacker took his, destroyed his server. Um, destroyed his name. They did a whole bunch of horrible things. Um, and then on top of that, um, I'm pull that out right now on Steam. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of the game Tower of Night. This Discord server was hacked too. Um, today around midnight, the official Discord server was hacked with a moderator calling himself hidden. Use racial slurs and cursing. Do you know what it's about? Of course, I'm aware that it was hacked. It's not the real moderator. So someone with their account took over, kind of like this. Um, and, um, not very appropriate, being very racist, same thing happened to my friend, um, uh, now I will say, uh, Terra Knight, it took them two days to get their server back, and I know they're, they're a game thing, so Discord might work with them a little faster, but it's going on eight, nine days, and Discord has not even gotten a contact with a partner server a partner streamer at all i know he's not super super big but he's partnered with him he's been with him for a long time he's been partnered for a long time and they haven't got back to him i think discord is going downhill um let's talk about a few other things so there's um another problem with discord all right i'll pull that up right now going through my thing all right so i don't know if you guys have ever gotten this these kind of messages. I'm just showing you what one of them looked like. You always get, you know, you get this or you'll get 
like don't ever click on any of that shit. This is all either trying to steal money from you, trying to steal stuff. When a random person does this to you, they're just looking to steal stuff or personal. It's always personal gain. Same with, oh, I reported your Steam account. They are fake. They're trying to steal your Steam account, Discord account, anything they can take. Best way to avoid this is check links. Don't click on them. Check the, there's what, hundreds of websites. Best thing is just not click on links. Or talk to them on voice knowing that it's actually your friend that sent you the link. Not like if you, you're scared to check the link. There's websites to check and make sure it's not leading anywhere harmful or anything. It's not a bad link or anything. But their uh, Discord is filled with this issue. We're constantly hearing people Discord getting stolen. Uh, hackers, a whole bunch of it, stuff. And this is bad. Discord needs to get this fixed. They need something in place. And I'm not just saying this because I, I like what discord does i have lots of friends on discord and that kind of stuff but the way discord is acting the way they're going about it is not good especially letting partner servers get destroyed partner um members not get any news or updates on what's going on and i'm gonna tell you guys i think we found a better place than discord right now I know a lot of people who are going to be in Discord, but I feel like this place is better. Uh, it's called Guild. Uh, it's a lot like Discord, but they actually have a lot of things differently. Um, let me just pop that up over here. So this is a server. Um, just talking and stuff. This is pretty much like Discord and stuff. Um, you can have different, like, say that you know how they have everything here. You actually, if you have different games, you can set up different thing, different games, and it's not all in one thing. You could also set up, like, Fred's, uh, which is just coming to Discord now. They had it for a while. Um, uh, the only thing that's bad right now is... Um, if you're screen sharing, there's, you will not get no sound, uh, cause it's in beta. They're still working on stuff, but let's talk about, um, art and performance art. So we'll log in here. This is just, this is just an example. You can actually, let's go to this right here. The way art showed, if you're a big artist or anything like that, that is a better way to show art instead of like how Discord is. Um, I feel like, and the other cool thing about um, Guild um, is you have to be accepted into the, like, you have to apply to join a server. If they don't know you or you don't tell them details, you can. Um, you can you don't have to accept them if they don't answer. That way you can keep the bots out. Keep anything anybody that's going to be harmful to your community out. Um, they also have several different other things. You can set up calendars and stuff, back from blood clothes beta, people's streams, all that kind of stuff. You can set calendars up. They also have a place where you can put forms and stuff, like um, you can write, you can pay can do memes, you can have Twitch clips, member streams, all that kind of stuff. There's lots of stuff in here they have, and they're building upon. Um, That's another alteration. If you're kind of tired of all the bots on Discord, I feel like Guild has a great start, and I just think they need a little bit more members, and I feel like it'll come big. Um, it's very awesome. The other cool thing is if if let's people if people were looking for certain groups on Guild, like let's say they're looking for Dead by Daylight players, they can search Dead by like Dead Dead by Daylight. Um, and if you have that interest in your server, they can actually ask to join because they're looking for more Dead by Daylight players 
or Friday the 13th or any games you would have in there. Same with like if you have certain kind of art and stuff. Um, if you have same kind of art, like if a lot of people draw like flowers or anything like that or any you follow a certain thing. You can search it up and you can find all the servers that have that kind of stuff in. And I think that's very cool that you can find new communities and stuff. I think that's very smart of, of Guild. Um, they are pretty, they're not super new, but they have a great foreground. I think they're, they have a right set. They have as they have a good amount of options. There's some things that are missing that Discord does have, but Guild has some good stuff. But let's stop talking about that. I'm not I'm not here to promote Guild or anything. That's I'm just giving you guys another option. If you are getting tired of Discord, as you see, I have both. Uh, because I still have people on Discord. I use servers I, I'm on because a lot of games are on Discord. But Guild is another option that some people have decided to change because they were getting tired of all the bots and hackers and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like Guild is another good choice uh, to start a community. So if you're getting tired of it, go ahead and check out Guild. Uh, it's very easy to set up. Um, yeah, it's almost like Discord pretty much. It's just a little bit different. And um, they upload bigger, you know, like you can upload bigger pictures, bigger videos, uh, more megabytes. Um, they're less to pay for stuff like discord has like discord has where you pay for certain things where guild has it already and it, you don't pay for it as as far as yet now i know there's still things they're doing and things are changing but we already um in some of the uh guilds um they had uh we already had a dev come in and talk to us and and say welcome to us which i had never seen discord have I'm not trying to rip Discord apart because I do like Discord, but after all of the stuff that's been going on, Guild, I think, is the right right step in the right direction. I think they're getting there. All right, so let's talk about something else that's going on. Um, Let me pop this up. Okay, so a big thing's going on with uh, Twitch. Um, it, it, and they're not... Tar I don't think they're targeting a precise person because... I've seen VTubers, I've seen probably just normal big streamers, uh, furries, streamers, pretty much you name it, they're getting attacked by this. Anybody that has a small streamer or even big streamer, anyone they can affect, um, they are making accounts, and when you look at the accounts, they just click on me, click on me for, just Twitch stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. If you click on their link, they either will get your IP address or they will follow by you. Um, so if you see any of them, ban them from your chat, ban them from uh, your thing so no one gets falls for that. And another thing, if you guys are on Twitch and you see one of them people and you want to check out their account, make sure you have a VPN. Um, I use NordVPN. That's who I use. They're very good. They have good speed. Uh, I use that whenever I'm checking different things out that I'm worried my IP is going to be leaked. Or just most of the time, actually, I use it most of the time because you never know what it, your your IP could be a leak. And you definitely don't want to deal with someone that has your IP address and has all your, a good amount of your info. But I don't want to keep rambling on. It's already been um 15 minutes i don't want to make a super long video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i threw a whole bunch of uh, info at you guys but i just wanted to bring this up because it was really bothering me with the whole discord thing and now i saw this twitch thing and this hacking situation is getting ridiculous um and people say oh just put two authorization on like uh when they need your phone number that is not the case with Discord. They could get past that. They found a way to bypass that. So, even if you have that set, they could still get past it. Discord needs to fix this. 
Discord needs to say, all right, let's stop working on new features and get our security a lot better. Let's protect our 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 community. They need to get their forget uh forgive my profanity their shit together. They need to get their shit together. Cause Guild or any other place that's like Discord that's coming up, if any big streamer or anybody or enough people leave, Discord Discord can fall. I'm not saying it should fall. I'm saying they need to step their game up. And that's all I'm going to say. That's the last thing I'm going to say. They need to do better with their secure. Do better with their community. Do better with their partners. But I don't want to keep rambling on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like if you did. Leave a comment down below. What's your thoughts on this whole situation? Have you had any friends have this issue? Have you been experiencing the bot issues? I know some people have their messaging blocked that you have to be friends. That's fine. I don't have it because certain servers require that I'm on required me to have it open. Which I do because of that reason. But it, that should not be my reason. That should be that should not be my issue. That should be Discord's issue to not have this. They should set up where you're only allowed so many accounts for certain IPs for Discord or something like that. Something that needs to be fixed. I know they can change IPs and all that type of VPN, but all that kind of stuff. There has to be something they can do. All right. Um, I'll see everyone in the next video. Peace. Attention viewer. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe.